Four-year-old girl is shot and killed in the daylight hours in Louisville's Algonquin neighborhood, and police still need your help finding the shooter. It is our top story on the WHAS 11 night team. Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Prophet. The shooting took place just across the street from the Park Hill Community Center. WHS 11 night team's Taylor Woods and photojournalist Addie Hill are learning more about the young victim. Taylor. Well, Doug, 15-year-old Dovia Purnell was shot and killed yesterday just before 11 a.m. This is an example of another young person taken away too soon and the staff at the Park Hill Community Center say Davia wasn't a regular but she came to the center before and the coroner tonight tell us that her adoptive parents state her address is in Union, Kentucky. That's Boone County, not far from Cincinnati. Just before 11 o'clock Monday morning in broad daylight, 15 year old Dovia Purnell was found shot and killed in the Park Hill apartment complex. This photo given to us by her family. It's heart wrenching. It, it is heart wrenching. A life taken away too soon. It's heartbreaking for the Park Hill Community Center because it happened just across the street. When I hear about things like that, particularly with the proximity, I call my team. I want to check on them, see how they doing. 99 times out of 100, they know the young person. Ben Johnson, assistant director of Louisville Parks and Recreation Division, isn't here every day, but says other staff and kids at the center knew Purnell. They'll help me to know, remember Mr. Ben, you were down here, and she dot, 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 or he, and I was like, oh, yeah, I do remember. It is a miserable, it's almost like losing one of your own children. This loss is tough. The center serves as a lifeline for several young people. They depend on it, filled with activities to keep kids busy. Now some are grieving Purnell's loss. So let's think about her family. Let's think about the kids in this community. Let's think, and it's two separate groups, the kids in the community, but the kids that might have known her from the community center, but she also had a school family. At the end of the day, Johnson says Purnell is another young person who wasn't in school today. Oh, so that who sat behind you in math class, that, that loss is, you know, at this point forever. And the family has a GoFundMe set up to raise money towards Dovia's funeral expenses. They're trying to raise $10,000, and so far they've received over $3,000. That information can be found on our website, whas11.com. In studio, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11, 19, on your side. Taylor, thank you. Police have said again there are no suspects in this shooting of Dovia. Anyone with information is asked to call the anonymous tip line at 574-LNPD to help detectives or use the online portal.